30 days ago, I was a complete novice on YouTube. Didn't know how to do anything, including upload videos or whatever it might be. And in the last 30 days, I've pretty much taught myself from watching different videos and everything, how to use it and how to be effective at it. As a quick disclaimer, I don't have a huge following and I'm not an expert by any means in YouTube. But I thought I would share what I've learned in the first 30 days in case it's helpful for other entrepreneurs that wanna have a presence on YouTube. So let's dive in. Tip number one is get the right software. There's a lot of software programs out there that are really helpful um, for beginners and non-experts in these sort of software packages. And I'm gonna list through a few that I found really helpful. Firstly, there's Canva. This is a really good package for making the starting screens, end screens, and in the dimensions that you want. So if you've got a portrait screen for a YouTube short, it can make those in a template. It can convert that to a landscape for a long. It's a really good package for beginners in terms of just making very slick looking beginning pages and end pages. The next app that I used was free and that's called CapCut. And it's a really great app for editing like iMovie does, but I also found it very helpful in terms of adding subtitles to my shorts. It automatically generates subtitles for you really quickly. You can then change the fonts on them. You can make some words bigger or smaller or different colors or animated. And so it's really effective. The nice thing is it's completely free to use. And then you just download a completed video and it's ready to go straight up to either to be put into Canva for finishing or to go straight onto YouTube. And then obviously there's the YouTube Studio app. This is free as well, links to your account. It just kind of gives you stats on your phone around your usage, how many likes you've got on recent videos and the performance, where's your audience coming in from, that sort of stuff. So you can kind of see what's working and what's not by using this app and really digging into some of that data. Next up is using good titles and descriptions for your videos. I've done a lot of research on this and it comes up very frequently that you need to have good titles and that's the way that YouTube effectively searches your video and knows how to push that out to a potential audience. So really spend the time to think about what the keywords are that you want your audience or think your audience are searching for, put that in the title, and then put a longer form description as well into the description of the video so that people can really effectively find your video. Next up, use effective hashtags. Hashtags are basically keywords that you can use to, for people to find your videos and using the right ones with the right audiences can really be effective. So test out different hashtags on different videos and see what impact it has. Next, I would use channels off of YouTube to drive traffic. What do I mean by that? If you have a big Facebook following or Instagram following, post there to try to drive traffic to your YouTube channel. I personally have quite a large LinkedIn following from my business. And I use that to not overwhelm people with a post every day about the latest videos I was recording, but to just push out content on an ad hoc basis that I thought that some of my LinkedIn followers would find useful. And that definitely helped drive traffic to YouTube. There's also lots of videos out there about which equipment you need. And in reality, a good phone is pretty much all you need and maybe a microphone to go with it. But you can do a lot with a phone, especially if you're in a static location without much um, background noise. Lighting is obviously an important component. And so maybe buying a ring light. I got a cheap ring light on Amazon that really helps just kind of fill flash your face and make sure that you're not in shadow and everything. But other than that, you really don't need fancy equipment to get started. And I wouldn't recommend getting fancy equipment until you build more of a following. Next up, I recommend publishing content that you're very familiar with and have some expertise with. I think too many people on YouTube are chasing audiences or chasing the latest search, popular search theme. And that's a mistake because it's short lived and you really don't have much content that you can generate from that. So if you're an expert in a particular top topic or you have a lot to say in a particular topic, focus your efforts there because it's going to mean that you can generate content more consistently and reliably. And in reality, it's content that drives traffic to your channel and not just being on to the latest buzzword or theme. Publishing consistently is also very important. I think a lot of people turn up on YouTube and think that they can make a couple of videos and they'll be discovered overnight. And that is definitely not the case. I've published nearly 40 videos in 30 days 
and this has really helped consistently start to drive traffic to the channel. I think it seems like YouTube definitely prioritizes that consistency of publishing content. And over the long run, that will help drive traffic to your channel. I think a lot of people give up after a couple of videos and wonder why they didn't really get found. And I think a big part of that is that YouTube definitely prioritizes those content creators that are consistently publishing. And lastly, be patient. It's very rare to be an overnight success in anything. And especially in YouTube, which has become increasingly crowded with millions of different content generators pumping out content on a daily basis. So don't be put off by a lack of traction or certain videos that don't perform. Just be patient, keep producing good content and your audience will come. I hope that was helpful in terms of what I've learned the first 30 days on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, I'd definitely love to hear them. So put them in the comments below. And don't forget, like and subscribe.